already. He's like, yo, bro. <laughs> She bad as hell, but she want to charge me money for, for sex. I'm like, but she ain't oh, charge you, though. But she ain't charge me. Ah, she likes I, you. I was like, okay, so I understand now. Every girl really likes you, she's not going to charge you. Nope. But if she just wants to make, make a quick bag, she can charge you every single day. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A woman that's cannot, crazy. and that's why I always say, like, if a woman is charging you, that tells me deep down she doesn't respect you. At all. Because if a like woman you. likes you, respect Absolutely. comes first. And if she respects you, there's no way she's going to charge you for her burning, genuine desire. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing with a man. Absolutely. If a man really likes you, He's not going to, you know, if he degrades you or whatever, that's one thing because, you know, it's coming from love. But if he doesn't know you or whatever, then he's going to degrade you. And that's why the girls get shit on inside of you. Uh, not, sorry. And, and Dubai and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they just use them as objects. Yeah. yeah. Dubai. So, Porter Potty. Do you have something? Porter you're Potter. trying to say something? Oh, I was going to say I'll start about my mom because he said we yeah, don't do it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, it's so funny. Me and my sister like, die laughing about this today. My mom had this one guy when he was in our life. Like, our life was so good. Like, all this kind of shit. Come to find out, this nigga was a trick. He went to fucking marry my mama and everything. We looking at her like, why you ain't marry him? Like, what's wrong with you? Uh, and she just like, oh, I'm just gonna do it. And I was in love with your dad. And, da- and now look at us. <laughs> <laughs> but, nigga- but hold on, hold on. That proved my point. That you do realize you're starting to prove my point, oh, yeah. right? She didn't respect him. So exactly. she couldn't do it. Even when my life was so good when that man was around. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Yo, I hope y'all wrote that down. Think about the two uh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That story was really good. That's good. Yeah. Like that, let's peel that back a layer. Mm-hmm. Her own children provided this man because he uh, preferred this man because he was able to provide a level of security. What does a, what's a woman's pr- first priority? Her children, right? Mm-hmm. Her children. Your mom put put away your guys' request because she could not see herself with that man. That goes to show how deeply important it is for a woman to respect the man first, where she will f- say, fuck the kids. This shit don't make me happy. This guy's a loser. I don't respect them. Yes, he provides me security, but it's not worth the cost of my sanity of being with yes. a man that I don't respect. That right. is so true. So that proves my point even further. She's willing to give her, her children a little bit of a worse life <laughs> <laughs> with the biological father who's more attractive and she respects right. over a man that's providing that security. Yep. So She's that goes stupid. to show, man, like, like, yo, <laughs> if a girl's charging you, she don't fucking like you, bro. It's bad. Yeah. And that's don't. the power of some good dick. But it doesn't make, mean she can't uh, learn like to you. like you. There's right. A, right. There's right. A, yeah, you can oh, learn to like you. That's, 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 that's building a house on quicksand, though. Yeah. Yeah. There's a small I chance. Put it out there. They're watching. There's a small chance. But it's so small you don't want to risk it. But then on the flip side of what she keeps saying, if a man really likes you, he's gonna do it. Facts. Mm-hmm. Niggas gonna do whatever they want regardless. Yeah, and it also to. depends too if the girl's a stripper because if you're dating a stripper, if you're taking a stripper out, sometimes it's not about I'm charging you to have sex. It's like sometimes I'm missing out on work. You yeah. want me to come out with you on Friday. Friday's my best day. Yeah. So if I have to miss work, you know what I'm saying? Are you gonna compensate for you know what's scary though? But Mr. still, if you really yeah. liked him, you would still go out anyway. Yo, You'll be like, fuck that money, I go make tomorrow. Or yeah. I could tell him, like, hey, Friday's not good for me. He's like, man, please, you know, it's my like it's my birthday. Please come out with me and be like, well, I'll come. But birthday you, but have you know the right type of nigga gonna be like, I got you, don't worry about it. Yo, Period. Right. I was just you gonna say scary? that niggas gonna take care of that. What's you know scary? scary? Girls out here in Miami, right? You can't even tell who's charging nowadays. Oh no, you can't. Not you know the worst part about it? Some of them are pretty so smart how they move. Yep. Before you even like, actually, you know what? I mean, so... No, tell us. <laughs> right? I'm gonna expose some. some we going down about the me. rabbit hole today. Before mm-hmm. you even get to meet her, she's on the sugar site, get headed by niggas, and if you don't pay, they paying. So they are gonna flake on you for those niggas. Yeah. I'm just saying, yep. as a guy that doesn't wanna be in that, in that uh, scenario, or whatever, you got a choice to make. Either you respect yourself and you say, you know what, fuck it, I'm not paying for none of these hoes, or. You just trick and say, fuck it. Yeah, I'll, or I'll you could date a regular female. Oh, no. That's, 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 that's what he's trying to say. Trying to say. Regular girls, regular girls are on those fucking trigger yeah. sites. Yes. Yes. No, not thing. just regular. I mean, regular, like, in every aspect. Regular looking. Listen, regular no, no, driving. No, 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 regular. Girl, regular you don't understand. Listen, you go, you go next door? No, no, no. Or the the girl next door, are nine doing to five, everything. are doing it too. They're well, homes. you got to get a real ugly, like, get, get, get <laughs> they're doing it too. Yeah, they're doing it too. Yeah. There's 40 year olds that are ugly as hell on those sites. There's freaking yeah. kids, girls in college. I'm like, the fuck are you here? <laughs> see, this is why I use it because I can see everything from a bird's eye view. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 yeah, ladies. Uh, well, I, I yeah, mean, you guys might not notice because y'all, y'all are women. You so, are you looking women. for love? So, huh? are you Yo, looking no. for love? Love, love. He's just looking to get his dick wet. I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> so, are you uh, looking for love? No. Are you in a relationship? He no. Like, oh, I'm on the spot now. No. Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. No.
<laughs> allegedly, Mario. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. No, yeah, allegedly. No, but no, uh, but yeah, no, regular girls are doing it too, is what he's trying to say. And, and I don't expect you guys to know that because you guys don't date women. You don't give a fuck. But well, seriously, at least. So you might not know that. But yeah, regular girls are doing it too, bro. It's the world has changed with the internet yeah. and Cash App and Venmo. It changed mm-hmm. the game. Period. You know? So I got a hit single call Cash App, by the way. Y'all go check it out. There you go. I'm I'm drop my cash app too. Listen, y'all guys are asleep on the couch thinking every girl's sugar and spice. I'm telling you right now, bro. Yeah, it'd be a lot of girls that you don't even expect, bro. It could be your sister, your cousin. They'd be on it. If you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, some niggas know. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. So, uh, Air Tam Seven, Uh, YouTuber slash Swiss streamer, not so erudite, really wants to debate you. I think it would be a great discussion. She's a psychologist and blue pills. Fuck, check out her video on you. Nah, I don't even know who that is. Neither. Uh, Miranda Tassone, Tassona, thank. Hey, we're not scared to debate, bro. Uh, we told H3 we'll do it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if, if it's worth our time, then we'll do it. But we're not going to just, like, debate with randoms, bro. Like, what the fuck? It's got to be beneficial to us, too. Thank you guys for introducing me to Tommy. New off, com- t- coming soon. You guys are fucking That is hilarious. not her. Yeah. That is not her. Of, mm-hmm. of course, sir. Okay. We know that. <laughs> First in the feelings. <laughs> no, because, like, no, like, that's, that's messed up, bro. Come on. <laughs> Listen, man. Leave the girl alone, man. <laughs> Leave her alone. Y'all yeah, pass it on the good comments. Uh, right? Why you skip so many? Because they're doing $20 right now. Because yeah. 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 uh, I definitely skipped all mine. Yeah, too. Chris, Chris, you are. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Chris, yeah, you, did you tell them 20 up? Yeah, they didn't even let the people yeah. know. No, but no, no, jumped no, no, into no, 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 no. Like, the show is going. Yeah, yeah. We haven't even done the first video. You see, yeah. y'all want to talk about us, but it, it, y'all are here charging for comments. Don't do me like that. No, we don't charge. It's ain't right there. They, 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 cho- they choose to. They Donations. Choose to. Yeah, yeah. Don't, they donate. Yeah, okay, donate. well, donate to my cash app. Oh, DT, right? Yeah, 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 Tapping in with Fresh Fit. Myron, great Zoom call the other night. Learned a lot. Show you next to Fresh. Look good as fuck. No cap. You want to drive RG for them? Got, got oh, wait. No, now. never mind. She got a boyfriend. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah. Love the guests and the show. No hate, Myron, but uh, been a Pokemon boomer. Jen Ryder is going to get you destroyed and hit their retirement home. I dominate in all generations. Just facts. Okay, George okay. O'Kella. Uh, Omar, don't listen to Reddit. I see they can't handle your BBC gang is here for you. Tell her Fresh. Okay, Omar. A gang is here to defend you. You, you want to drop your IG for them real quick, I see? She saw ICTV. Please send no dick pictures. I am blocking the hell out of all of y'all. Okay. Yo, oh, so I just thought about it. Someone did post it on Reddit. <laughs> with the... Yeah, because they caught me with the back camera angle with Chris. Yeah, but the camera... DK, oh, she got no ass. Yes, I have no ass. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> all right. Mike. Oh my God. This icy girl looks just like a girl I once dated in high school during my old blue pill simp years of 2014, just with tattoos added. That's so funny. She is my ex-girlfriend's doppelganger. I am not telling uh, All right. <laughs> DLC, 100 bucks. Thank you so much. I'm feeling the early show. I paused it to send this chat. Fresh Myron, uh, Fresh Mo, Chris, and Myron are the real deal. Stay humble. Keep leading from the front, gentlemen. And by the way, I sense a castle in the group. Peace. Uh, hopefully not. DLC. I don't think so. Yvette Simonis. I love oh, diamonds. Shit. Honestly, this is how women should be. Respect. Yes. So diamond, Period. Uh, you want to drop your IG for them real quick? Diamond the body. Two eyes at the end. There you go. Send yep. a dick pics there, guys, unless you're in the UK. Period. <laughs> they, they just made it a crime, by the way. Yeah. Uh, men don't hate women for no reason. It's not worth the charge. Y'all so disrespectful-ish and play victim. Oh, shit. I know he's talking about before when we get when we got punched by those girls from Pompano. Yeah. Well, you did it. Me and Chris did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 so horrible, oh, French. Bro. I would hate you as a friend. You know what it is? Record the fight, oh, nigga. This is money, nigga. So why? Why did nigga, somebody so record this? Listen, man. I got a job to do. Ooh, it's, it's ooh. He said record content. Okay, here I go. I got to see too. Bro, shit. Price is mass educator, man. Uh, the argument for you, you'll pay for it anyway, is the disingenuous because no peace leave is worth a man's blood, sweat, tears, uh, and the uh, important commodity time. If you pay for it. Know that multiple other men got it for free. Facts. Fair enough. Uh, genuine respect is not about looks or dick meat. It, if it was, it'd be a university well-respected gentleman. All right. And then uh, anti-coon, who on the panel is down with polygamy? <laughs> Go around the table real quick. Are you down with polygamy? Multiple women, one guy. You're closed on your end. He's open on his. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No. <laughs> no? Right, you don't share? If he's rich. Fair enough. Okay. No. No. 
Okay. And and then this is assuming, you know, he meets your metrics, by the way. So you you guys are never sharing regardless. Okay. No. So half and half. Shit, if you pay all the bills, mm-hmm. all as long as I don't we all go shopping it, at the same time. I'm fine. Yeah, we can have fun. Like we can, like we you, can have you know conversate know. threesomes. We can, you know, make it spicy, but, but not. But you like, gotta be involved sure. though, right? Yes. You can't I don't go want out. that. Like my sister, yeah. homegirl, hey. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want none of that. Like, come on, girl. No. Okay. No. Bro, Estrada, FNF, I just found out <laughs> about your channel. <laughs> and curious, if you ever plan to have I Jordan so Peterson good. on the show, that would be so epic. Shout out to the Mamacita in the back in red. We're working on it. Uh, Frank, if most women think they're nines and tens by default, doesn't that make them average? I, I guess. Yeah, and then, exactly. Hey, Phantom, I don't know what part of Indiana you're from, but if you're from Gary or Indianapolis, shout out. Oh, I'm from Nap. Thank you. That's your second time writing, so thanks for both donations. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you remembered. You're okay. Fab Jew. Oh, wow. Resist the slave my F and F. All right, cool. Um, so we got a video to play? We do. What we uh, just to? real quick. We got a video to react to. On the panel. And then, Chris, what's the announcement right now? Oh, there's 7,200 of you guys, by the way. So we're going to get into the video reaction right now, guys. So we're going to get off Twitch and Twitter. So yep. 7,290 of you guys in here right now. Come over to YouTube. Fresh and Fit. Search Fresh and Fit on YouTube. Come on over. Um, we're going to kill the Twitch and the Twitter streams. Because, I mean, at this point, we probably already got <laughs> said a bunch of crazy shit. So uh, check us out on YouTube, guys. Okay. Cool. Um, so, Chris, we're going to go, what, uh, 20 or 50 up? How do you want to do this? 20 is fine. 20 is fine? Yeah. All right. We're going to go 20 and up, guys. Um, all Super Chats, by the way, are going to be shown on screen. So don't worry. If you want to, you know, put some in the, in the chat, it's going to be shown. But we're only going to read 20 and up. All right? So uh, what's the video about? Cool. So just I don't real even quick, know what it is. on the panel, give us one of the biggest red flags you know from guys on dates. So one big red flag, like, so I, I want to say, deal breaker. Sa- sa- to you, that if if he does this to you, it's like finish. Okay, you're you're like done with him. The deal breaker. So one red flag, you're, you're like done with. Um, I don't know, just like inappropriate, awkwardly like touching me in a, like a non in a time that it's not necessary to do that. Very t- awkward. Yeah. Y'all are across the table and he's doing shit like this, like, hey, what's like, up? How are you doing? That was like, very, like, it really threw me off. Give I can me give home. an example if you want. <laughs> Hey, go ahead, give an example. Okay, so it was the second time just hanging out with some guy and whatever. I let him like have his arm around me and we're hanging. Like, he do this weird shit right here? Like watching TV oh, or what? whatever. No, he has weirder. Like, even weirder. So he's like, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Show, show on the dummy how he did it. So he's hugging me, whatever. And out of nowhere, we're watching yep. the TV and he just like jiggles my breath. <laughs> <laughs> what in the actual? I, would die right now. I felt violated right now. Exactly. Call the fucking cops, somebody. <laughs> but. But Call nine one one. I was just like assaulted on the camera. Hello, you don't, you don't like him that much, huh? Yes. You don't like like him that much. No, I could tell. It was the yeah. second. Day. It was the second time we hung out at my place. Nick could be doing that on the first date. Again, again, <laughs> play. Oh wait, so he came on the first date and you, you didn't smash him at your spot? No. Oh, wait, okay. huh? What do you look like? Right. Well, I can hold you. That's kind of weird though. The, the jiggle shit. That's nigga. super weird. Yeah. It was like, what the fuck? We're watching the office. It was nigga. awkward. Watching like, the office. Watching the office. Like, there was no reason for you to do that. Like, it was very weird. weird. You gotta move with some slow weird. finesse. Like, I mean, it was little, like, awkward. motion. It was not like, jiggle. It was very fuck? awkward. I, would, I felt so. I was just like, <laughs> What's well, office? Did he, did, did he say anything? Did you kick him out? Like, yeah, like, yeah, did he make him leave? Like, yo, what happened yeah. after the jiggle? Nothing yeah. was said. I was just like, mm, awkward silence. Mm, okay, jingle I bells. Need to get water or something. Jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> jingle bells. <laughs> <up. laughs> so to end, I'm like, I'm tired. Like, oh, so, no. so he didn't. Say, so he did it and didn't say nothing. Yeah. My nigga, bro. <laughs> <Honestly, laughs> he felt like, well, shit. At least I can get a feel out of this. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Else, so, she ain't gonna fuck. No. So that's so the, the, the I second time I jerked place. That ruined everything. <laughs> like, if you had any type of potential, I just fucking that was. Did he though? Okay. So honestly. He, so so. Well, that's a good question. See, did he though? No. He didn't have. No she didn't potential. like him like that. She didn't like him. So but he you know, knew it. Did, okay. No. He physically attracted and liked him, but he was a very nice person. Like we had good conversations, so that's why I like was okay with. You needed more time. Yeah, so definitely. Know. However, there, however, yeah. for per per our advice, we would tell that nigga to like just bounce. But you need more time to like assess who he really was, what he was about. But that nigga did a jiggle. <laughs> it's a rap, bro. I, I, and just out of curiosity, what if what, what, it, what if you fucked him that night if he didn't do that weird shit? <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, I mean, we could have gotten a little bit more, you know, she probably would have sucked not dick. that. Like, okay, you wouldn't need another date for that. Yeah. So, you, so okay. So you were not intent on fucking him that night. No. So and why'd you invite him to your house? Yeah, I know. He and I didn't want. Ask a good question. I'm sorry. I didn't I'm sorry. First, we went out to eat, 
And then he wanted to show, um, like show me. I don't want to say too much information. Go ahead. Like, hey, he wanted to show me something. So it was. It's it's my tattoo artist. Anyways, so he wanted wait, to wait, show what, me. What, what, wait, wait, what? It was my tattoo artist. Okay. okay. So he wanted to show you some cock. <laughs> he wanted to show me <laughs> some so he, sketches. He, on was it my your new spot piece. or his spot? My spot. So why would you invite a man to your house that you don't intend on fucking? Because that blows my mind with women. Well, because like our history, like we've had, like I said, he was my tattoo artist. So I've yeah. known this person oh, you for like for what? So y'all not dating? No. no. Oh. It was like plus so years. And then he shot. finally got the courage to be like, oh, okay, let's go out to eat or whatever. Same thing. Not being super direct. Not saying it's a date. Just mm. like, oh, let's get some food. Oh, okay. And then like, he was like, oh, I have the sketches. Do you want to go back to your place so I could watch? Oh, so then yeah. that was his game trying to get yeah. some. Yeah. She fell for we it. Gave, she was just like, all right. I'm too nigga, nice sometimes. Watch the so that's my fault. I'm too nice sometimes, but no, that was not the intention. She didn't want to lose him. That's why. She didn't like him uh, like that. Yeah, she was like, yeah. She, 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 she enjoyed, basically, yeah, if I'm going to be honest about it, she enjoyed the attention and the enjoyment of the attention outweighed the potential of him trying to like fuck. So like, because there's always that thing in a girl's head, like, oh, I'm bringing him to my spot. There's always this chance. But I enjoyed this no. attention more than that potential to fuck. Whereas, like, if he if he was annoying, you would have never let him come in. You would be like, fuck this shit. You would, you would go home. Right. That's not thing is, know, it's it's a give and take. Like men up. They thing, can be super thing cool. Is, he then... gave you the offer. You didn't think anything of it per se. However, in the moment, she felt safe for him. Yeah. Yeah. But safe. However, however, in the moment, it was kind of like, okay, we're sitting here just vibing. But I'm not into him like that. But for him to make that move, the the jiggle that just went to show you had no interest. And ever going that yeah, far yeah, in that it. moment, at least. And, yeah, and real no. talk, thank you for telling that story because yeah. this is a big mistake that a lot of guys make. We yeah. tell them this all the time. Be don't direct. fucking hide your dick, bro. Yeah, like, direct. don't try to be her. This is why we say, do not be a girl's friend first, man. Like, it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, you should. we could be friends first. It's a bunch of fucking pussy shit. Like, if you want to run that game, be prepared to wait for several months, if not years. Just be direct. Let her know your intention. And if she denies you, she denies you right there and you just move on to the next girl because your time is valuable, bro. bro so many guys try that, though. They try the friend zone first. You know funny? Before you even go back to her house, whisper in her ear. I can't wait to do some naughty things to you or something like that. <laughs> so, no, no. I, I'm just saying no. no. Real, Could you imagine your friends do? I, I can't wait to do some uh, naughty things uh, to you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. saying like, 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 no, no. No. <laughs> I understand. Like, what, what, it's not the wording. It's just like, say something like, Freaky, right. whatever. I'm just saying, so you let it be known to see where she's at. Oh, right. Okay, she be like, oh, I like that, or like, oh, really? Or like, at least attempt to try to kiss me. Or exactly. Some shit so I pull so you she know, knows some shit, it's like... there. You, you don't have to say it, but it's like, kind of like, make her know, okay, I want demon time. So that she knows before you get back to the crib, <laughs> and then from there you can make a move. But if you just like no, for randomly, because that's literally gonna be my story. Like literally, that's like my deal. Yeah. Yo, know, fresh fresh as shit. He, he sings that ludicrous song. I wanna li, 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 <laughs> you rub your head to your toes. I wanna move, move, move till I'm back on the floor. <laughs> And then Chris, this nigga, this nigga got poor Adlibs when he spit his game to the girls. Yeah, hey, you, you want to come back with my boys? Excuse me? You want to come back with my boys? Excuse me? You want to come back with my boys? Excuse me? Well, I got to put a fucking shirt on the other side. I thought you want to come back to my place. Yeah, facts. <laughs> and that fucking boy. Hey, yo. No sex to fuck out. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, nigga, yo. nigga smashing. Hey, you, you like that? You, you like, excuse me? You, you like that? Well, oh my oh, god, why are you doing this? Like, like, <laughs> what? Yo. The thing is a big yo. Bitch, yo, yo. He goes and gets the a fucking yourself. sign and writes that shit. No, no, no. That's this is Chris. That's Chris. Oh, that's Chris. If it was Mo, oh she won't god. survive. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and, then, uh, and he's like, oh my god, boy, Santos or son, you like this thing? And then puts the shows on the board. <laughs> Yo, right, anyway, yo, Mario's like feminist debate time. <laughs> exactly. I'm turning off, I'm going home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He gonna talk his stuff out of some coochie every time. That's what I'm saying. I have. I have. I know. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get through. You gonna talk yourself out of pussy? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, she says something dumb. I, I just can't like. I, I, uh, I'm not like Chris, bro. I, I can't bite my tongue. I gotta fuck that. Oh, I got I gotta bite my tongue. Oh, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> but you definitely do. It sounds like it. Yeah, I know. But, uh, <laughs> it might sound like it, but he doesn't. But no, like she'll, she'll fucking say some dumb shit, and I'm like. That was really stupid. Yeah. Let me tell you why it was dumb. Yeah. No, that's me on a date. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was on the phone with a girl yesterday. Yo, kid you not. She said, oh, uh, women have to fight for their right to vote. And I was like, like at this point, it was just like, 
<laughs> what do I do? Exactly. <laughs> do I uh, do I play along? Go tell her. And try so to get this box, or do I fix the studio up? Oh, you touch my do I do I do that? Play along. Or mm, my ding ding dong. Do it. <laughs> or do I go the fucking the other route, which is this right here? You stupid. And I went with the last. You went the <laughs> And I was like, listen, See, you're actually wrong because women didn't want the right to vote because it came with responsibilities back in the day where they would have to serve in the military, be a part of the fire department, whatever. So it was actually women didn't want to vote. Men gave them that right. You're, you, you know, you're aggressive. <laughs> I'm, like, you're I'm not aggressive. aggressive. <laughs> I'm just a matter of a fact. They were so mad when we be right and be like, you're aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I'm still right. And I was like, and I was like, no, you're just stupid. I'm not aggressive. You're just wrong. And then, yeah. listen, this is why me and Myron have a different strategy towards getting the same result. <laughs> He's gonna tell you to your face what it is and be like, oh yeah, you're probably right. Next. No, but we gonna hang tomorrow though. It worked out. Okay. But, but, oh, but, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yo, you. Hopefully she don't see this. She ain't hanging yeah, out with Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Like, hanging out with you. Whatever, fuck, I don't care. Yeah. Listen, hey, whatever. If, if I lose, I lose. But I don't I like care. You. I just say it. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care. I just say it. I agree and amplify. Oh, really? Tell me more. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. Exactly. That's why you be smashing bitches, because you a listening ass nigga. <laughs> 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 listen, 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 all right, so this is my thing. I don't know if I would necessarily consider that as a red flag, but it's kind of my deal breaker. Mm. If I'm with a guy and I feel like I can't have Much. a weird conversation with him, because for me, it's like, if you can't stimulate my mind first, you will not be able to stimulate my body. Mm. So I think that that's just a must for me. So Man, about, I just love how, everything she says. So having a conversation right? like, like and actually being present in the moment <laughs> is what you need but if he's not there for you like mentally stim stimulating you that's an no for you yeah okay for sure so are you a saposexual is that, is that what you say yeah a saposexual okay. i guess <laughs> oh shit I think, she, I think she's also turned off by we fucked you guys up a couple years ago you know what i'm saying oh god oh my god uh, hey. Hey. Yeah. 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 So bad. yeah all right Did you all right just get this back on? Was it exactly? Uh, yeah. 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 Hey, listen. <laughs> we don't want to go through that week again. Yeah, that, 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 that was I mean, suck. we go that week every month. Lessons hey, learned. Every Lessons month. learned. Is what it is. We fucked them also... Germans up, though. I just had to say it. <laughs> oh, All right, God. Comrade Myra, now. And somebody. Uh, I, I have, for it. I have to add one more thing. Okay. I feel also like having Watch. sex is so much about energies, and mm. like I'm not trying to give my good energies to just anybody and I'm not trying to receive anybody's energies. Like Shout out to Drake Marzi. Yeah. So thank you. Hold on. Let me ask you this. Go ahead. What if you meet somebody, right? Mm -hmm. The vibe is there, connection is there. And it's good energy. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna move forward? What do you mean by move forward? As in like, let's say you're on a date, mm -hmm. you know, things are going great. And then he says to you, hey, you know what? I had a great time with you. Um you seem pretty cool. You mm -hmm. like him as well. Let's go out to my spot. Are you gonna say no? If I feel like doing it, I will do it. Okay. So it you're, you're open to like... Yeah. Okay. Totally. Right. Just curious. Even with a comrade? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dick here, bro. bro. Oh, Chill. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going not, back to you're Ukraine. You're not on any sides, right? I'm back to... Oh. You're not on any sides. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Man, we missed whatever was said. Right? We missed it. <laughs> no, he, he's saying... Oh, don't worry. I just... Allegedly. Allegedly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Move on to the next one. What are your red flags? Okay, Diamond. Just give us, us one, Diamond. Your red flag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a deal breaker. Give us five. Give us five. Everybody that's a, has that's story a deal time. breaker. Nigga pulls up to you. Hell no. What's nigga. the deal breaker? And if you want to tell a story no. about it, go ahead. No, I don't want to highlight no motherfucking trick. Yo, but that's my No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. Okay, so like I said, I, if if I even get on the date with you, you already passed like 10 tests. Mm. Preliminary. Like, uh, <laughs> Wait, right. Ten, so right. if I get to the date, that means that you already like halfway what I want. Um, my biggest thing, I don't like Instagram addicted people. Mm. Like if we're on a date and you just like this mm -hmm. and like yeah. I'm sitting in front of you, like uh, Look Instagram at me. is right here. And again, <laughs> you know communication. Like, you looking at? Yeah. Lack of communication. Yeah, like they don't have nothing to say. They're just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh shit. So you want someone weird. present in the moment? Yeah, but not even. If you're looking at your stocks or if you're looking at something that, like Instagram, if you're literally just scrolling through Instagram, bro, that's weird. Like, as we're on a date, we're talking. Yeah, attention. Let me ask you this. Yeah. 
Do that tells th- me so much, bro. Do you think like, he may be bored? Or you may be boring for him? Oh, I'm not boring. He's I'm definitely not, not interested in you, though. He, if a man is sitting there in your face looking like this, he shouldn't. And or looking like this, and you looking at Instagram, the same way he, he had to right pass now. them five tests. I should have passed five tests for him to even yeah. go on a date, but I'm very interesting. I'm very entertaining. If you not, I'll be like, excuse me, sir, what's going on here? Hello? <laughs> you don't see me? <laughs> like, I'm going to make it <laughs> a point. I'm like, right hello? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Off your phone. You get what I'm saying? So it, after I make I it a point, shit, yeah. if you don't say like, oh, okay, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know what I'm saying? And then get back I, into the real. Yeah, that's weird. Real, real we quick, in the that, metaverse. Um, <laughs> metaverse? <laughs> uh, we had a whole conversation about uh, that yesterday. But question for you. Um, because that that's the first time I've heard that complaint come from a woman. Yeah. Typically, that comes from the men. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because most guys, we notice because we sell an Instagram course, most guys' Instagrams are fucking garbage. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not on it like that. They don't give a shit about Instagram. So that tells me, are you dating like a lot of influencer type guys? Uh, not Verified like- motherfuckers that got big followings? You know, I wouldn't say uh, big followings. I would just say, you know, a lot of money. So they're probably got a lot of DMs. They probably got bitches in their DMs. And you know what I'm saying? They don't be like the most popular niggas, but they be like rich niggas. Okay. But do they make money off Instagram? No. Oh, okay. So it's strictly to like t- talk to other chicks probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Okay. To look at other right. bitches. Because yeah. that's what you're doing. You're yeah, looking at are, other bitches. I doing? remember being with a regular guy and it was like literally he'll be on his fucking phone when we're out. And I'll look over and you're looking at girls and liking girls shit. I will throw <laughs> your phone and it's like, my nigga, what are you doing? Like. I'm yeah, here. Well. We're on a date. Why? Why are you looking at other bitches on your phone? Like that was the biggest difference. Was the girls or guys? Like him right now. Look. <laughs> no, no. He's, he's looking at this shit. <laughs> all right. So, um, okay. That, that's uh, that's the first I've ever heard that complaint. So, yeah. all right. I, I would say v- probably very few women experience that, but that, that's a good. Uh, that's it. Tells me a lot about the type of guys you date. So, absolutely. Well, no, I dated right. a guy very once before, and um, he was into the stock market, and it was like it was so fucking annoying. Oh like I understand God. you're making money, yeah. but, but I did stock market. Yeah, we could literally be walking like, oh my god, I do this. Oh my god, I do this. And it's just like, god, god damn. No, I right. got my anxiety I that, through the roof. Because I yeah. was a day trader. Well, he be, was a day trader. Be. Oh, that's why. Yeah, he yeah. was a day trader. He yeah. couldn't have went on a date in the daytime day trading. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that shit was that's him. So but he always wanted to do shit in the daytime. Yeah, I'm like, bro, no. like, I, I don't play about that. Yeah. We could literally be walking down the After street eight. and something would ping and it'd be like, oh, gotta stop. Like, right here, bro? Like, Damn. we gotta take a seat right Come here. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, one of the issues with, like, you know, being in the stock market is, like, you gotta constantly watch the market. You don't really li- live your life, whatever. If the market's open, you're fucking on it. So it's like, Cause here's the thing, like this is why we tell you how to invest in index funds, guys. Because if you're trying to time the market or you know time shit like these guys do, you lose your life, bro. You really do. So eh. and, then, and it, the other shit, what the, the S and P 500 and index funds in general do better than like 95 percent of people that do it on their own, guys. Most people lose in the stock market, just so y'all know. Yeah. Even people that go to Harvard and everything else, you put your mutual your money with them in a mutual fund, they're still gonna lose the S and P 500. Yeah. Warren Buffett did had a bet million dollars. Can you with some of the best mutual fund managers? And they could not beat the S&P 500 index, bro. Yeah, that's very true. So in, invest in these index funds, guys. You're going to take an L and you're going to piss off your dates. <laughs> we try to day trade. Uh, what about you? That big big uh, deal breaker for you that made you say, nah, no what? No. Like I've said before, I don't like people who are like just overly interested in me. Like, okay. like, 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 you know, interview questions. How old are you? This and that. Like, just repetitive questions that I, I, I just don't want to deal with like I, I let's have a conversation but when we're having a conversation ask a question and let the conversation flow you know what i'm okay. saying bring more topics make mm. it into a tangent even i don't give a fuck but not just question not the question not the question i'm gonna just yeah, look at you like like an interview so yeah. you know okay. you don't want an interrogation you don't but want I, I, I don't want to be yeah. fucking interrogated no that's different. I'm I like, crazy. I actually like that. Yeah. I don't. No, like, I like, like, I like being mentally stimulated in a different way. Like, I like talking about weird, crazy anime, cartoon fiction right. type shit. Like, that's that's how you'll get me. I'm weird, but... In, in other words, don't interview her like a detective. It brings back bad memories. I went to jail once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, but it's just, I don't know, like... Guys, but that it, and the inappropriate touching, like how she said, like on a first date, if you're already going like this to my thigh, I'm already like, okay. get off of me. All right. I Damn. don't like that. Okay. All right. What is a big yeah. deal breaker for you? <sighs> he broke. <laughs> Not <laughs> even because we wouldn't have got that far. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, um, I would, I, honestly, the, it's the it's the level of conversation Um, because yes, I am a stripper, but 
once you start talking to me, you can tell that my intellect is at a different level. So if you can only have surface level conversations with me, and I can know this within like the first 10, 15 minutes of the conversation, it's a super turn off. Like I don't give a fuck what happens. So that's a deal breaker if they make too much small talk. Too much small talk. Okay. And then similar what, icy. What you saying with the whole guys will really go, Oh, I can't wait to get can I just lick your lips? Can I can I can I kiss your lips? Yes. And it's just like overly thirsty. Bitch, what? No. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Shit, bitch. Okay. So <laughs> uh, we get it. Y'all trying to pipe on the first night, but like, like no. simultaneously pipe. Don't just be like, I want to like suck your titties right now while we at dinner. Like, yeah. no, nigga. Yeah. 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 This is the way that. how you do it. Do like, like, I don't know. You don't, don't do it in the nice first first attraction. You do it like, for example, multiple spots. You create multiple experiences for her. And maybe in the midway or at the end is when you make those kind of like remarks. If she's into you, letting her touch her in certain places, yeah. she can feel it. You, you can see, for for example, high interest and high uh, con connection. Cool. Then do that. But if not, for you, then you're just being if, weird. If, yeah. I'll be, if I'll be very simple, I think a lot of guys don't understand that. Men get turned on like light switches, instant. Yeah. Women get turned on like volume knobs. You got to do it nice and slow. Yeah. And what I always tell guys, here's, here's the, the trick, guys. Every time you touch a girl or you make an advancement, it needs to be congruent with the advancement prior to that. So I'll give you an example. Yeah. Let's say you meet on a date, you give her a hug. Cool. Next, maybe walk with her and you have your hand maybe on like the top of her back, right? And then as the night progresses, you can maybe move down to the small of the back. And then, then, you know, after like the second venue, whatever, maybe you could touch her leg a little bit and see how she re re responds to that. But the point is you got to go zero, one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, yeah. seven. It's a lot a of you guys go up. zero to 100 real quick. And it, yeah, and, 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 and it fucks it up recall. because now you haven't built rapport. And you're basically trying to write write a, a, a check that you can't necessarily cash at the moment because you haven't built rapport. So you got to do it nice and slow, guys. I know it sucks and it's annoying. That's how women are, bro. They're fucking volume knob. Uh, hold on, but when you master, we're this, gonna just turn the TV off. Yes, very true. But when you master this, though, you'll be able to smash on the first date. I know because yes. you are Minimum professional. Effort. No, 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 no. I'm a man of God. I I, I just know these things. From, you know. <laughs> so so question for you. So so just so that people know. So that I guess so it's two things. It's uh number one trying to advance way too quickly to make it sexual, and then number two is small talk that pisses yeah. you off. All right. Not small talk. Empty conversations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a Which, difference. That's what, uh, no, there's a difference in an empty conversation difference? and a small talk. Empty conversations. So what are you do what we doing right now? <laughs> it's just a fun conversation. We're just kicking the shit. Blah blah. Small talk is just like, well, you had a good day today. What you eat mm -hmm. yesterday? But what you do? Nice change. What uh, you doing when you leave here? Like what you wear? Yeah. So um, we gonna be able to do this again? Like what the fuck? What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> like it's annoying. If it ain't about the money. It's no, not even about, about money. money. No, no. Like, and I'm not like I'm she, not one of those girls. Saying, so it's definitely not yeah, like that with me. The first encounter with the person is very dry, mundane, not anything exciting, and it's very still in terms of conversation. Right. I, just, I just hit it. You, you know what it is, guys. You got to stimulate her emotions. That's what yes. it comes down to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Hey, 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 let me, 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 while you guys have conversations to a degree. The problem is like when you say, oh, so how's your day? Mm, whatever. That doesn't elicit any type of, you know, stimulation. How's that's the like, fucking day? Bitch? That's like the conversation you have with a random guy in the elevator. So it's not awkward. Like you don't want to have yeah, conversations like weather. that. Yeah. You know, you got to be able to stimulate emotions. So that's really the takeaway here. Um, mm -hmm. Real quick. We just hit on the channel 599K subscribers. <laughs> so we, we, we only need 6K. I mean, 600 100 K. more subs. <laughs> To hit 600k, 100 oh, more. Hey, wait, I don't hit a thousand. Wait, if we just hit 599, it's okay. Our math no, ain't math. No, the math is not his first. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, 1,000. <laughs> we need 1,000 more. Oh, right. Yeah, and we got stupid. So there's 7,500 you guys in here. Like the video. What about you? What is a big turn off for you? Um, I guess a big turn off would be like um deal you, breaker type shit. Basically, like your body language and everything like that. Like um, like how you present yourself because like when i'm dating someone i need them to be a represent representative represent representation of me exactly so it's like i don't need you to be you know fit, like doing with different things or on your phone again like communication like you don't know how to keep up a conversation or you know like if we're out and you're like um 
I don't know, like just awkward, awkward, yeah. you know, like I, I can't I can't do that because like I'm I'm got so much stuff that I want to do inside my head. I can't have you. I can't keep on looking after you because you're not doing what you need to be doing. OK, so um, as far as appearance cause, wise, because you started appearance, off at appearance. Well, not appearance, but just appearance like and then person. I'm talking like you just communication, want to be like eye contact and everything like that. If you're not having eye, co eye contact with me while we're talking, it's like. What are you what are you paying me. attention to? Like, what are you? All right. So the guys can because I want the guys to take away from this and learn. Uh, but I, I think you maybe articulate yourself a little differently there. Uh, so you said he has to be a representation of me. What What do you mean by that? Basically, like, you know, like, again, like you are who you hang around, you know, you mean like appearance. Like, I'm confused. Not appearance wise, but just like, you know, how you present yourself. I you know? so, so, so she's <laughs> saying that not mean appearance. No, not, it's not, she's saying like it has to be at least respectful in terms of like, OK, if I'm here, you know, they I'm. In the present moment, I'm here looking at you, being yeah. with you. I'm not looking at over there or my phone. Oh, I'm present okay. in the moment. Like body language. That's, that's what okay. she means. So, so that's that's not that means like she wants somebody to be. That means you don't no, want present. somebody to be. No. Yeah. You want somebody to be present. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Because right, representation of me means is like is like you. Uh, I'm the leader here, asshole. You got to represent me well. Because I would argue it's the other way around for men. Like if I'm out with a girl, you're a representation of me. Like exactly. You, you, I can't yeah, have you acting crazy and being a. I, I disagree with but you. But you can't do that, though. I, I, because I, what do you bring to the table? Why this man got to be a representation of you? If he paying for everything, what are you doing? I mean, that's, that's, that's exactly why, like, you have to bring value to the table regardless. Because, like, you know, if someone, you're with someone, you're like, he's giving you all this information, he's paying for this and that. And, and again, it go, goes back to y'all conversation. Like, okay, well, this bitch, she, she not cooking and cleaning. So it's like, okay then i'm just gonna fuck her like this she's just here to fuck you know but like if you bring value to the table and you're actually like you know communicating and present well, well let's be honest here you know you make your own money you know you're doing well with you know the businesses you know uh you're not gonna hang out with a guy that doesn't add value so that's a moot point at this point yeah right so so my my question is this you're saying like he's got to be a representation of you i would argue it's the other way around the woman is the representation of the man not the other way around because the man is the leader right, the woman follows yeah. so I don't know. Maybe I think she said the wrong word. Yeah, I think she used the wrong word. Yeah, and I think what she really means is you want a guy that's gonna be there, be attentive, and be the leader, and do what he's supposed to do, and lead the interaction. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like yeah. basically, like you know, do what you. Because you don't want to be sitting there like, okay, so uh, we're gonna I go and do to this. Control every conversation. You don't want to do that. Control right. everything. That'd be annoying. You look yeah. at me like you know, like for me to do something next, like no, I'm not. No, you like what I'm doing right now. I'm dictating the conversation, make people understand what you're trying to say here. So like, it's so basically, it's leading the conversation to a point where. There's a favorable outcome, and the man is in a position where you can follow him. Right. Mm -hmm. He has well, he has a plan. He's telling you where to meet, telling you what to wear. He's telling you, hey, we're gonna do this. He makes a plan. When he sits down with you, wear. he's attentive. He's having a conversation with you. He knows what the hell you're saying. He's paying attention to you. He's listening That's to right. understand versus just yeah. listening to respond. Stuff like that. Right. Okay. Right, fair enough. I just had to. I got y'all, man. You. I gotta translate the womanese for the people, bro. Because a guy might think, like, um, I got to be a representation of you. Who are you? You're some chick. You know, they're I think gonna... she means, like, what you attract, like, what she says. Like, whatever she is, like, who she is, she wants to attract the same thing. Exactly. So if, what, if whoever she's talking to, whatever, doesn't not like her, then, you know, her attention's going to go away from right. She just wants somebody point. interested in her. That's it. Yeah. Right. I, I, man, I'm, I was lost. She said she wants to attract someone like her. This one's like, it's like, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yeah, we, we get it. <laughs> Myron Donald doesn't understand that part of women. Needs. No, 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 no. Sorry. It's not that. It's that I actually listen. That's the difference. If you yeah. actually listen to what you're saying, it, it not to sound like an asshole, it just doesn't make sense. Because if you're saying, hey, I want you, uh, he, she wants a guy that's like her. Well, you want a dude that's going to have long hair and a dress and come in looking no, sexy? That's why when no. I first heard her, I said, you want Thank somebody Thank you, someone else said. Like, like, that's, that's what I'm yeah, not, like, I'm yeah, literally, I'm listening very close to everything yeah. you're saying. Yeah, so. yeah, not and I'm listening to like, like, when I start squinting my eyes, you know? I mean, I'm really yeah, trying to understand. Yeah, his job was I would have said. I don't understand what I get to do on this. Okay, what about you? Sorry, no, you had something? Sorry. No, I was just saying, like, if I were saying, like, uh, physical wise, I would have said, yeah, like I want him to look like this. Like if he don't look like this, then no. Nah, like, okay. No. Nah. But would it be fair to or to say that clearly he's gonna be probably an opposite of you? He's actually gonna be tall. He's gonna have muscles. Yeah. Whereas like you're short and you're not muscular. Yeah. yeah. 
exactly. Yeah. Just a masculine just, version of her. That's all she's asking for. No, we, didn't, we didn't mean real time shit. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Attract as a person, not how what you look like. Well, that's, that's... Moving forward, because we have a video to react yeah. to. Yeah. 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 Talk, yeah, I'm, I'm just making sure that guys understand in the chat because yeah, what are your red flags? I would say uh, my red flags are a man not in his body. Like he the first thing he wants to do is try to impress me. Like not like impress me with what's going on with him, but always talking about what the next nigga is doing or anything like that. Like he's not in his body. He's not I don't know. That a cloud chaser. A cloud chaser. A name dropper. Okay, now I'm even more confused. Mm. confused. You mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. you mean somebody, somebody that is not who they actually are? That's right not there. what I said. <laughs> what, what, not what, in what his body. Not his body. He's not, he's not, his he's body. not, he's not worried himself. about himself. He's worried about the next nigga, right? He's, he's, he's not only himself. Yeah. No, he's not worried Please about her. himself. Mm. I don't see how to like he get on a date like oh I know Fresh from Fresh and Fit podcast like nigga what about right, you? Right, right, look at me and my homeboys look we be yeah, lit like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I was in the studio What's with Lil Wayne last week yeah. what you right. have going on with yourself so, yeah you know you don't know bird man you worry about yourself you stupid shit you the niggas you know to get the box okay right all like right. a cloud chase. She's, yeah, basically. Okay, cloud I, chaser. I get what it, what what she what she's saying now. It, it, yeah. Okay. Oh, I know this guy. Like I can connect you. Some bullshit like that, right? It's crazy how women right. really understand other women. But in 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 the man's defense, they're they're speaking very um colorfully. And so it's taking all of us to decipher it, <laughs> right? And then give it back to them. So no, we, gotta, because... we gotta be better at um. No, because uh, oh, yeah. all yeah. right. Uh, Nicholas. last thoughts. Uh, already? No, no. Hey. Is it, is it I, I just want to make sure I have it right. So, so you just don't like guys that like use their uh, connections to try to purport themselves to be of a higher status than they really are, or you just don't like the fact that they throw it in your face. Where versus where, if you had just discovered it naturally, it would have been better. I guess just bringing it up. Period. For example, like I didn't ask you. I give an example. I know Birdman. Lame. Lame. You're at a restaurant. Birdman walks in, comes up to him, says, "Hey, what up, bro? How you doing?" That's, that's a whole different, different scenario. Yeah. That's, that's, that's different. But, yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying different. to explain. Like, you, you yeah. would rather have discovered it on your own naturally, like that happening, versus him overtly telling you, "I know this guy." Yeah, yes. yeah, unprovoked. Like, it's different. Okay. If, you know, I would just use an example so that people you understand. Going to hang out with him now or some shit like that. Long story short, guys, discovery trumps disclosure every single time when it comes to women. Shut the Birdman. So. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> she don't want you to tell her. She wants her to naturally find out. Okay, so don't tell her you drive a Lambo. She'll find out on her own. Trust me. Yes. Uh, yeah. All the time for real. Well, I never, I, n- I never really pull it out. Yeah, he like never that. says it. But Chris says it more than fresh. Yeah, does. I never ever bring it up. <laughs> you bring it up all the time, nigga. Yeah, you little lamb truck outside. My nigga drives a Lambo. Nigga pull up with the Okay. My nigga fresh time. All right. Next fresh. Chris, good wing man, man. All right. Let's <laughs> thinking, bro. All right, uh, can so you give the people the background on this video? Is by God. and he's talking with some ladies on the street, talking about what is your red flag, and as you know, dating is pretty much dead nowadays. And <laughs> as men and women, we want something from each other party, and we don't want to give it up. But we kind of disqualify people too fast sometimes. So let's get into the video. A shout to the whoever you you downloaded this, Chris. Yes, I paired did. baby, I love it. Yep. All right. There you go. Oh, one second. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> you can skip a little bit. To like- All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me make sure there's no echo. I think we fixed that. Echo. But let us know. Give us ones in the chat if the sound is good and there's no echo. Mo's going to be monitoring it. Where do we skip? Is this good, Fresh? Yeah, that's hey, guy, Welcome back in to another lit video. Today, your boys are Scott Tay, Arizona. And tell these girls, we want to ask one question. What's your. All right. So, chat, put one, one in the chat <laughs> if there's no echo. One in the chat if there's no echo. All, All right. We good? We good. All right. Red flag. What's your name? Where y'all from? From Chicago. California. No, Ashley, I'm from Minnesota. Ashley. Salt Lake City, Utah. Catherine. Goodyear, Arizona. My name's Mia. I'm from New Mexico. Kayla, I'm from Tucson. What is your red flag? Oh, bad teeth. Bro, she tall as hell. The dude got is like six feet. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Red flag. Country music. Ooh. Military. A white girl in Arizona. That's a big red flag. That's for <laughs> sure. I'm very mentally unstable. So you like doing some spit in your mouth and choke you. When a dude says I love you too soon. Yo, personal, not there. Wait, what? 
Your personal red flag. Oh, with us. Oh, my first, oh with us. Okay. She's dumb. My red flag is honestly who they're friends with. Like, okay, okay, like. Go ahead. If, is, fuck. Okay, okay, like. Do I, is, if, if, fuck. What? Fuck, notice. Who they? Everyone at panel give answers, right? Uh, some people we didn't understand what they were saying. Exactly. <laughs> so the exact same thing's happening here. So is he asking them what red flags do they don't like about guys or yes. their red flags? No, he so, said, what's their red flags? What's their red flags? Like, yeah. Right. Like, for them. Okay. okay. For guys. Yeah. yeah. For them. For, <laughs> as a girl. For them the same as that question we asked you, what's a deal breaker when okay, you meet a guy? Deal, right. Okay. Same thing. No. Same. Oh, we, said, got, we got Kyan M in the chat. <laughs> they gonna they gonna buddy the girls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout out FNF Game Iron and Fresh Cookie per usual. Remind these women to talk talk to you nice. Okay. <laughs> this guy. All right. They're friends with bad people. I do not f them at all. What is your personal red flag? Personal red flag. Oh, androids. <laughs> what type of crap does that mean? <laughs> I, I don't hate what to say this shit. What's the Kanye West thing say? Read it back a little bit. Yo, I hate to say this because we made a whole, we got a lot of hate. We made a video we where we said, correct. we told guys, yo, listen, bro, we understand androids are superior devices. We don't give a, a girl fuck. Sees we green don't like bubbles, them. Yeah, if a girl sees green bubbles, she's not going to take you serious, bro. We don't care. Right, it is what it is, man. You got to have, have, have an iPhone. Play phone. You better have another one. I yeah. want the yeah. iPhone number. Don't she give the Android number. green, it means she's gone. She's gone to another magazine. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What the fuck? Um, it's, uh, leave, leave. So, okay, yeah. So, guys, it's it's very true. Like, a lot of women feel this way, bro. Yeah, chat, like, put an F in the chat for fresh. Green, green te text messages, it's, it's an L for No, you, I bro. literally say, I um, can I have the iPhone number? Like, I'm sure you have two phones. And they'd be like, what? Shout out two chains. Just like, and then they're right, like, right, and then right, back in their mind, they're like, I only got one, but uh, I'll lie and say I do have one. All right, let's continue on. What's your personal, though? Like, what is it that you do? Like what my red flag? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jack, man. I think my biggest red flag is like when a guy's like way too obsessed and in love with you, like way too early. Yes. Like you're like you, you don't even know me, and you're clearly just like looking for something, but it's not me. It's what the f is he talking about? <laughs> what is your red flag? My red flag is when he. Yo, she oh fucked up. Yo, yo, she <laughs> fucked so... up. Same look at her. It's when he. <laughs> Red flag, she's clapping, she got tattoos. What's next? Like, you don't want this? Oh, like, what the f? I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> like, do I, is if. Stormzy. Is, <laughs> it's not a stormy, <laughs> man. She doesn't, she. Who the f is that guy? <laughs> she doesn't mind. She doesn't worry about getting cheated on because she's already cheating. <laughs> what is your red flag? Uh, if he whips his out. Bro, this <laughs> fucking proves so many things, man. I'm going to reserve like, my yeah. judgment to the yeah. end. Yeah. yeah. But we'll, okay. the fact that the girls were nodding in unison after. <laughs> so she, 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 like, yeah, she yeah. more yeah. than Chris. <laughs> yeah, I can lie. She is more than me. <laughs> All right. On the first date, like, yo, just no. That's my first red flag. If he, pulls, if he pulls his dick out on the first date. Oh, right. Yo, notice he asks them, what is your personal red flag that you do? But they're all, all answering we what just men asked do. We just asked it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, uh, it was what Myra they just do. Said. No, I mean, he's letting it right because they're just answering. But I'm just saying. But original question. Oh, but the original question, question was. Right, that's what yeah. I was asking. Oh, okay. So, so we were right. all kind of confused. <laughs> what is your red flag? Uh, if he whips his Oh, if he doesn't want to take you. No, oh. your, your red flag. <laughs> Not every other guy. <laughs> your. I don't know. Oh, that's yeah, a big, big red flag. That's, that's, a, that's a big red flag. You don't know. Meaning, what is, like, what is my red flag specifically? What is the red flag that you do, that you have? Oh, that you have. So right, what's right, your personal right. red flag? Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay, that I have specifically, can it be for myself, but can it be based on what Jesu. I've experienced someone that I love going, okay, well, someone, somebody who, uh, I don't know, that is, not to be mean, but somebody that is, like, so 
your red flag. What do you do wrong? <laughs> Not what everybody else does wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Accountability, what? All right, I, I got your red flag. You like to blame everybody else for what they did and doing, but you don't want to take responsibility for yourself. That's what. That's your flag. There we go. I don't like that. I, I knew something was wrong when she said, I don't know what my red flag is. But he and he and he. You're the flag. <laughs> lies, lies, liars. To catch you up on something. If you like your red flag. flag. Oh, me! I don't have any. I guess that's a red flag. You're on the red flag right there. A red flag. You talk a lot and don't show me shit. That's a red flag. What is your red flag? When they text you with a crying emoji. If you post a picture or something, they'll be like, oh, you're so cute. And they put the crying emoji. Like, what the f are you crying for? Shut the f up. And what is your red flag? I get mad easily. I have a short temper. What is it something you would get mad at that's like, <laughs> like real small? How they breathe. <laughs> yeah, you're toxic. I'm not toxic. Yeah, you are. That's sad. Are you single right now? Yeah. Yeah, very much. So, what is your toxic trait? Now he wore it different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. To give as much as I give. Match your energy. Yeah. Not a lot of people can match it. I'm a giver. They're not. Like, give me some. No. I give you my heart. No. See, you ain't giving nothing. Liar. Because I'm liar. taking. Never mind. God bless you. God bless you. I hope your boyfriend died. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Uh, personal red flag would be. God damn, she's tall as fuck. She already piped him, though. She gonna pipe him. She over there writing them notes. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't uh, wait till this is over. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm just uh, observing some th certain things. Uh, right. and then, don't call her mom. They don't have respect for their parents. What's your red flag? Yours. Then I like they go back. They go back. The band. What's wrong with that? You gotta tell me what's wrong with that. I don't know. I, I don't see anything wrong. You racist. <laughs> Are you in the black dude? Yeah. You're single. Yes. You think I'm attractive? Yeah. Last question. Can I get a kiss? No. Oh. Oh. Sorry. What is your personal red flag? Uh, like when they don't have time for you. No, what's your personal red flag? <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know a lot of things. I just said like, I oh, like when they ask you like, do you have needs and stuff like that? Red flag. That means they just want, you know, their jewels. Your red flag. Stop telling me everybody else's. I want to know mine. what you do. Yeah, this, these are mine. No, that's your red flag about people. What is your red that flag? That is my red flag. What do you do? What do you do wrong? Oh, mine. Mine. I think they're perfect. I guess controlling. controlling? Control okay. You Latina, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Guys. Please tell me your thoughts on this video. My we'll brain hurts we'll, a little bit. We'll start right here. Oh. Um, yeah, my brain does hurt a little bit from that. But, I mean, I guess my thoughts on they were so quick to speak on other people's shortcomings instead of their own, not, like, actually listening to the question. But when they actually understood the question, I mean, they did answer it, so. Okay. That's fair. What about you? Um, same. Like, basically, like, listening. You just have to listen to what people are saying and comprehend it. All right. Cass, <laughs> <laughs> like, hell no. Um, now I don't want to offend anybody, so I want to make sure. Just I... say it. <laughs> Go for it. Welcome to Fresh and Fit. Don't Jesus. worry about it. Just no, it. Um, because the way we felt watching that was the same way we felt when y'all was talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just like, now y'all see why we was like going so hard at trying to get the explanation out because the shit just was like, he didn't know what you were saying. Yeah. Um, however, he, <laughs> the big nigga with the list, he, um, he, he was playing crazy because, first of all, he was asking drunk girls not the right question, and yeah. that's just not fair. Right. That's very big. Um, but, yeah. but yeah, but yeah, that bitch is stupid. Like this whole, this is just stupid. All right. I just feel like a lot Merch. of women, especially drunk, we're not gonna take accountability of what we're doing wrong, especially at that moment. So I think there is that part in that video. You're asking a lot of drunk women, what is your red flag? Uh, what he did to me or whatever the fuck they said. You feel me? So I don't know. My brain did hurt, though. Yeah. Girl. 
Welcome to a day in our life every doing a Fresh Fit podcast. Every single night. Every, every night. single <laughs> morning. So was, much. Every night. Content, morning. Though, it's funny. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Definitely was entertaining. For it's sure. entertaining. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I'm on the ladies' side because oh. as women, we ain't got no red flags. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> they green yeah. flags. They mean go. <laughs> <laughs> and you're wearing green, so it makes sense. And, and guys, I'm wearing a red <laughs> <laughs> yeah, red. I said red flag. You red are flag. a red flag, I guys. Just by the way, if you want to watch the full video, it is on YouTube. DB God One. Yeah. Uh, go support him. It's on YouTube. Hundred four K subs. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So the ladies did nothing wrong. Fantastic. What Absolutely not. I think it's funny, right? Because the question was asked in a kind of confusing way, <laughs> but the ladies didn't ask any questions back and just blamed other people instead of asking questions. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay. So, someone shout out to Germany. Oh, shout out to Germany. Germany. <laughs> they're, they're, they're finally listening. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. finally. Um, yeah, I just would have got annoyed of how he was wording the question. Like, after consent, after the third girl getting confused, like, reword your question. And then he did it the one time and then went back to the same stupid question. No, nah, so. I mean, in but in his defense, even when he was like, no, what's yours? No, no, yeah, yeah. And you then know? I was like, no, what's yours? But still, like, he could have... Right, like I don't have better. any. All right, um, <laughs> I was sitting here trying to think of my red flag. You know, damn, let me think of my. I don't have any. Right? Fresh, you want? Yeah, no. I could go first. I So, um, and I was kind of taking taking these notes uh, <laughs> during the video, and then also whatever. I've come to realize because at this point, you know, we've interviewed well over a thousand women, and one of the questions we actually do on our podcast is we ask girls, "Why did your relationship end, and what did you do wrong? Name one thing you did wrong." You know what the girls always do nine out of ten times. Well, he was cheating. He was an asshole. He was really abusive, whatever. And I was like, no, 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 no. What did you do wrong? No, he was an asshole, blah, blah, blah. And then and then it, by the third time, no, what did you do wrong? Well, he forced me to stab him because X, Y, Z. Not saying it's X, Y, Z. But, uh, <laughs> but no, but no, not literally that example. But like, that's what we can, like, we have to beat it out of them. Not literally. And then eventually when they do admit it, it's always the guy's fault that made them do something that was quite frankly, probably illegal or fucked up. Yeah. So that's one thing that we noticed. Now, other things that I've noticed, and I'm, I'm going to offend some of the ladies here at the table, and I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to get hit with the... Oh, you. Here you go. I've noticed a correlation, Asagini. and I know it's not causation, but I have noticed a very tight correlation between the more attractive a woman, the more poor she is at articulating herself. And I have a... What? I have a hypothesis <laughs> for this. <laughs> See, I know I was going to offend some people. Asagini. Trigger alert. I have a hypothesis. Not I all, for a reason. but a big majority of attractive women, the harder they are, the worse they are at articulating themselves. And the reason why I think this is, is because women communicate differently than men, right? Men tend to do, communicate directly. Women tend to com communicate covertly, Co covertly, right? Like if you're with your buddies, right? I'll make fun of fresh. Oh, you started a guy. I want to lick, lick, lick you from. That's an example of male, <laughs> uh, male, um, uh, you know, direct communication, right? With humor in the side. Women, however, if your friend is fat, looks like shit, and y'all ain't going to get into the club, you ain't going to tell her, you fat bitch, you need to lose weight. You're going to say, hey, I got a black dress that'll look great on you, right? You're going to take a, a less aggressive I angle towards wrap. pointing out her flaws. Men have no problem pointing out your flaws in a funny, disrespectful way. We don't care. But women's feelings are always at stake, so they have to be covert about the communication. I say all that to build the stage for this. Since women communicate covertly and don't communicate overtly, men can't tell women the truth. So a woman that's attractive goes through much of her years not hearing uncomfortable truths about their deficiencies. One more time. Attractive women, a lot of the time, go through their life without hearing unattractive tendencies that they have. Why? Because men are not going to tell a chick that's bad on a first date sitting across from him. You know, that was really fucking stupid what you just said there. You know, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, that was just dumb. They're going to be like, oh, really? Okay. They're just going to do a fresh does a lot of the time. Oh, really? That's dope. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I, really? I, I actually care. Okay? Yeah. You know, they're going to. They, they don't want to. They're not going to break report because they're trying to get laid. So they're going to do and say whatever they got to fucking say. Very few guys are going to, you know, shoot themselves in the foot like myself. And be like, that was fucking dumb. You're an asshole. And get up and walk away. So that's one thing, right? That's why that's my hypothesis for why so many attractive women aren't good at articulating themselves because no one's ever told them you're dumb and that's, that makes no sense. And you guys communicate covertly. <sighs> it's not to you. Get out your feelings, man. Oh, baby, I know you're not talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> However, I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> yeah. am I going to sit here and be the pillar for all women or am I going to let you be great? Because I know you ain't talking to me. Yeah, I mean, and I'm, I'm gonna let you be great. Well, you, 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 well, here's the thing. <laughs> you, you, you literally, you proved my point because you couldn't understand earlier either. 
that's yeah. what, that's what I said. I gotta let you be great with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wanted to be. So, and I this isn't. So and this isn't all women, but I'm saying a, a shocking percentage. But you said attractive women, and I have. A, yeah, I, have, I, I, have, I have. I have issues agree. with that because. Sure. Go ahead. Why? Because I am attractive, right? And so people. Are you like every other girl though? It, that, that's what I'm saying. Like people you judge not. you when you are attractive through a certain lens until they realize, oh shit, she does have something to say. So that's my only issue with what you're saying because that's a very. I mean, you're a six foot tall, like nearly. So of course they'll listen to you. <laughs> hey, fuck you, mijo. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, um, no, um, uh, my my answer to that is the world doesn't owe you understanding. People are always gonna assume something about you until you prove them wrong. You're right. Can that's I? just an unfortunate reality. Like they're gonna look at you and be like, ah, uh, you know what? Myron, you're black and Arab, man. You might be a terrorist and a criminal. Who knows? And then I speak and I convey myself. Oh, you know what? You don't blow up buildings, man. Let's have a coffee. Yeah, that's just the world that we live in. <laughs> yeah, people ju right. people yeah, judge you off the way you look off rip. People yeah. don't have time to sit there. Let me get to know you real quick. Tell me about your life. Okay, cool. No, there's going to fucking go off stereotypes or whatever. Stereotypes exist for a reason because they tend to be accurate. And that's human nature to just judge you off a, 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 a book by its cover. That's humans in reality. You ain't going to talk to some guy that's five foot 11, and even though he might be rich and uh, you know, a really nice guy, whatever. You might not give him a chance because he doesn't meet a certain requirement off rip. So human beings judge off of a cover anyway. So you might be an exception to the rule. I know so I get am. out your feelings. I know but, I am. Uh, but, all right. And wait. then the last thing I was going to say. Oh, about women and accountability. I think a big reason why women uh, fail to take accountability is because most guys don't make women accountable for their poor decisions. They're just they're just going to tolerate a lot of fuckery. You know, I can't that, tell you how many guys problem then at that point. What was that? That's a complete that's a man's problem. Because if you're not telling me what I need to be told so I can hold myself accountable, that's the you problem. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. It, it, it's, yeah. And we and we tell guys that's why you gotta like tell your girl when she does dumb shit. But most guys, again, going back to the first date scenario, yeah, yeah. they what they don't want to break rapport. Right. So that's you that's that's my take on it. You guys can I don't know if you guys want to add to it, disagree, she wants whatever. To add to it. Sure. Um, oh yeah, you I, had something. Go ahead. I do want to add to that. Okay, Please. so I do agree with the statement that you know most pretty girls be real stupid, but it <laughs> and it's not like okay. So for one, like I said, I work in a strip club. A strip club have the most beautiful women in the yeah. world. You not know all saying? pretty girls are stupid. Let's make that very no, clear. No, not all. Just a, we just an alarming majority. We're talking about majorities, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So now you know because and this is why. <laughs> Honestly and truly, me personally, I could have been stupid. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you why. We're like you said, you know, people do let you do certain things and they let you get away with a lot because you're pretty or because you have a nice For body sure. or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? So you can skate through life. You don't gotta go to school. You ain't gotta do nothing. Somebody ready, ready to take care of you at fucking 16. They like, well, come over here and then you, you know what I'm saying? So you don't really 18. Yeah, she's, exactly. she's talking about R. Kelly right now. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Absolutely. If you look a certain way and you in a certain neighborhood or you in a certain environment, 16, they come and play. Damn, she got the Epstein. At 16 yeah, years old, I uh, had a nigga and he. Just say 18. We ain't going to go there. Girl, but the yeah. point of the matter out. is, I feel like <laughs> uh, for some. Stop snitching. I ain't going to jail. I ain't doing uh, nothing wrong. No, she missed it. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I was a victim. Yeah. What? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> no, flew over. You it's fine. Never, okay. Ahead, Anyways, continue, continue. When it comes to, um, I don't think that school, you know, equals to intel intelligence. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? A lot Agreed. of people yeah, could go to school and still be have no common sense. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So that's something that you have to go out on your own and you know what I'm saying just experience life, life and and go out and read books and and just figure stuff out on your own. So most people don't go on their own spare time outside of school to even accumulate that common sense or that extra knowledge of you know <clears throat> just life or finances or anything and then most of the time it's beautiful women because they don't need to by a certain age they got this guy or you know they ready to get married that. and so there's times my brain just be hurting and i just don't want to use it I that's mean, it right because you're pretty and you yeah, can just yeah. use your ass to get money I mean, uh, ass? Ass? Uh, oh, well, she's not using her ass. Ass. <laughs> 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 ass. But you know what I mean? I got like some dick going on every single I'm fake. I don't always see it, but when I do, that's what you did there, sir. That was good. Thank God the lights are on. I saw that one. All right. So, go ahead. Make sure you finish your point. Good job. I just want to say to ladies that's out there watching, you know what I'm saying? Let's go out. Let's start, you know what I'm saying? Going outside of school. Let's go outside of, you know, certain areas and actually learn things on your own. 
You know what I'm saying? Question for you, though. Absolutely. That kind of contradicts because you said before the girls did nothing wrong, but now you're saying that the girls like no, need no, to no. not She's be done. Because with you with the I part. am a woman, so I'm saying I'll be on a woman's side. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. The sister of Alice is more important than, than, than the truth. All right, fair enough. No, so, but, you know, go out there. Go go learn. <laughs> go experience. Read a book. You know, it's a really But here's book. the thing. That proves another one of my theories I say all the time. What's your theory? Girls will follow other girls even if they're dead wrong because women have this innate yeah that's stupid shit, hardwired though. feature to like agree with each other regardless of how wrong they are. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I was watching uh, when that girl was saying a bunch of stupid shit, the one that was going yeah. like this, mm. that made no sense. Her friends were like, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. like and and I'll take it a step further. I might offend you guys some more. Time. And that's how it should be. Uh, well, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give you my no bitch. Way. No, I'm gonna pull you no to the side. Way. After Ain't no the way. Hell, I'm trying to let my homegirl say some stupid ass shit. I'm right, like, yeah, girl, no, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna embarrass you, you, know. gonna embarrass no. you no. in TV in front of everybody on the on the. Oh, I'm definitely podcast. gonna give you some taps. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. Shut up. They was over there rooting for her. No, period. No, that's not. But but you're speaking to his point. His point is literally. Women are gonna do that shit because we care about each other's feelings and shit, Absolutely. and we ain't holding each other accountable, and that's the problem. You literally spin. just <laughs> made the point. <laughs> no, yeah, but, but, <laughs> you can do that and then still in the background pull her after the next day when she's sober. Say, babe, I ain't gonna lie, you okay. embarrassed. So we're in the back door now. Why not say the truth about, hey man, up front, you, you, you chicks need to stop following idiots. Yeah, because first of all, they already been drinking. They all probably drunk. Oh no, no, we're talking about general, general. not just that. Talking about that I'm talking about general because general. you're like I saw with the ladies, and yeah. my thing is this. I say that goes against her pro woman exactly. persona that she's giving off because <laughs> she wants to be pro woman, so she can't sit here and go, "No, y'all bitches is wrong." I mean, we are because it pussies. goes against you it, know. Because here's the thing: what I've noticed with women, women are followers, right? It, it just it is what it is, and it's not to say y'all are fucking dumb. No, no you that's guys the way are the, we're made. You, that's the way you yeah. guys are made. You guys are the weaker sex physically. You can't physically defend yourself. You know, since the beginning of time. If a man had an idea and another man has an idea and we don't agree, I'll pull out my sword and fight you, motherfucker. Let's do this. Let's duel. And let's do this weird <laughs> shit with swords. <laughs> Women, though, right? It's like, oh, uh, I can't fight with men, so I just have to acquiesce to the strongest man. Mm -hmm. So that's why when people come in and conquer a new land, right, like the Mongols and shit, Mulan, shout out to that, right? What happens? Everyone's wa walking around with uh, Genghis Khan's DNA in him, right, in Asia, something like 2 or 3% of the uh, Asian population has Genghis Khan's DNA in it. Why? Because they came in, conquered, fucked all the women, they came and the in. women stayed um, with the strongest men. Mm -hmm. Because women understand, okay, I have to go with the strongest guy. This is why money, this is why height, this is why looks, this is why um, being in shape, etc. All these things are things that women look for. It's hardwired because what does it do? It provides their security, more importantly, their children. So they have to align themselves with the strongest man. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that it's not your guys' fault that you're followers. You guys are born to be followers. And what I'm saying is that if you follow the wrong woman, Right, it could fuck That's you up. Gonna, That's yep. why I think a lot of single girls that hang out with other single girls stay perpetually single. Yep. Because yeah. they're gonna tell you bad habits. Fuck that nigga. Don't cook and clean mm -hmm. for him. You ain't Don't tell me how you feel. Yeah, you ain't yeah. a slave. You a queen. No. You a queen. Yeah. You a queen. But you ain't got no king. Like uh, no king. Like women <laughs> just lie to each other. Right. You a queen. No king. Bro, women lie to each woman? other all day. Who's an example of like the wrong woman? Hmm? Uh, Made a sign. Oh, wow. Shit. Who is Chris Lizzo? Lizzo. Wait, who ahead, Chris Lizzo. Lizzo. Talk your shit, Chris. Lizzo, <laughs> Meg the Cyan, uh, Lizzo. Uh, Cardi B, you know, uh, fucking. But how uh, are they you know, the wrong uh, person to follow? They all got men. Uh, wait. <laughs> got me. They don't got got Lizzo don't have a man. Let's hey, I, hey. I don't think Lizzo has yeah, a Yeah, she posted a video with her oh, man. She don't yeah. post his face what, or nothing. For what month? Two months, yeah. three months. She was shooting her shot at Captain America. Okay, Damn. but still, Cardi B is a bad example because she has Offset, and obviously she's married. She has the ring, and she has a kid with the man. She has provided her security. Hey, so you okay, know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't think you listen, could listen, say their music All right, is a bad Wap. thing to follow. All right. Don't listen to their music. You could follow their lifestyle, maybe, but their actual music is like, girl, you lying. You talking about tricks and this and that. You in a whole fucking relationship. Right. I get what you're saying. Okay. Are we